Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to learn how to make um, Sonic the Hedgehog. So I've used Saracena modelling paste for everything in the video. We're going to start with the feet. So we're just going to roll some teardrop shapes. Um, and we're just going to flatten these with our fingers. Now we want in the front to be quite pointed um, and the back to be quite rounded. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flatten the bottom of this and pinch in just a little bit further than halfway up just to give it more of a shoe uh, look than just the round blob that we've got and then with a ball tool we're just going to go in and create a place for the legs to go now the top of the shoes do curl up a little bit so I have put some emphasis on bringing the toes up slightly and so once you've done that for both feet, you should have something that looks like this. Now underneath the shoes, they have like a white uh, sole, I guess. So I'm just rolling out a similar shape to the shoe itself. And I'm just going to attach this to the bottom. Um, I've left it a little bit thicker so that I can pull it into place where it's needed if it's a little bit longer. You're going to do this with both feet. Um, and then we're going to do a white strip that just goes across the front of the shoe. Um, so I've not needed any water to stick this together, just attaching it as it is, um, and then just trim off the excess. So we're going to pop these to one side to dry for a minute while we do the legs. So I've just rolled out some blue. Um, now I've mixed this colour myself. I'll put the colours down below that I've used. And then I've got a one inch polystyrene ball and we're going to use this just to put in the body to try and save some weight a little bit. So we're going to flatten the edges of the circle out and just wet it with a bit of water. And then using the palm of your hand, we're going to fold in the edges until they eventually meet. And then we're going to roll that in our hands to get rid of any uh, lines or creases. This is going to form the body and we're going to teardrop it a little bit. And then the pointy bit at the bottom, this is what's going to be used to make the tail. So obviously the wider bit at the top is the top of the body. The pointy bit is the bottom of the body near the legs. And we're just going to put it between your fingers until that bit's a little bit uh, pointy at the bottom. And we kind of want it to flick back a little bit because that bit is going to be the part that goes through the legs. I've got some skin tone Saracena and I'm just going to cut out a rough kind of like overly type shape um, and this is just going to be for the fur on his chest. Now I've not added any colour to this one, I've just left it as it is. Um, I've got one of these tools that are, I think it's a clay tool so I'll put a link in the description box below and I'm just going ahead and texturising the fur. With some kebab skewers, we're going to go through uh, a dummy, make sure that the kebab can, uh, skewer can come out in and out quite easily. We're going to put that through the foot and then using the sharp bit, we're just going to put this through our legs. Now, once these are both on, we'll texturize the legs as well. We're just going to pop that in so you can see there's a lot of space around the ankle, which is fine because we're going to put some socks on him as well. So just a little bit of fondant with a line through the middle and I'm just going to texturise it just with some little lines and then we're going to wrap that around the foot going around the back. You can trim off any excess and then once we've got that um, on I'm then going to go in with the Dresden tool and I'm just going to put some little lines just to create sort of like a bit of movement in the sock. And you're going to do the same for the other leg. So this is what they should look like when they're finished. I've attached the legs at the bottom just with a little bit of water. And we're going to pop our body on. So with the sharp end of a kebab skewer, we're going to go through uh, the body. Now bearing in mind that there is a polystyrene ball in there, so you may feel some resistance at some point. I'm just pointing out the tail and just re-going over it with the texture tool. So you can see I'm just pushing in there for the leg and then popping it on to the legs. Now you can see that the legs have got a little bit where they just need a bit more fondant. So I've just got a little bit more blue 
And just with my Dresden tool, I'm just going to blend that in. Now there's a tiny little bit of water on here. It just helps get rid of any lines. Um, you shouldn't have to worry too much about getting rid of the lines fully because obviously we'll go over this and texture it as well. So you can see it just looks a lot better with that extra bit of fondant on. We're going to do the same for the other side. So that's what it should look like so far. We're going to put in some bits at the top for the arms. And then we're going to use the same method as before for the head. So just using your palm of your hands just to bring that in. And then we're going to roll that into a ball. So I've got some of the white, uh, the skin tone Saraceno just for the nose bit. Um, so it's a bit like a teardrop shape that's flat um, at one side. And it comes to a bit of a bulk in the middle. And I'm just going to push this on spreading it out a little bit a hole in the middle for the nose we're gonna pull that bit up in the middle just so that that goes in between the eyes i've got some white fondant that we're going to teardrop and this is what we're going to use for the eyes so i'm just flattening them out a little bit with my finger and then we're going to place these on with the pointy bit uh, going into the sort of like pinkish bit of the face we're just going to push that down with the Dresden tool. So you can see that the bottom of the eye is quite flat. And I'm just using the Dresden tool to push them around. A little mark in the side of the face area. And this is going to be for a little bit of a smile that he's got. And I'm just using the needle uh, just to put in that line. I've got some oval green bits. And these are going to be for the colours of the eye. Um, so I've done him so he's kind of like looking a little bit to the side but not too much. So I've put one colour a little bit further across than the other. And we're just going to use the Dresden tool to pull this uh, where we want it to go. To make sure that they're roughly the same size and same shape. And now a little bit of blue fondant. We're going to pinch it together at the middle. Um, and this is just going to give us that kind of like uh, brow bit that he's got. So I'm just pointing it off at the bottom by just taking some of that away. And we're going to push this in place. Now I don't think I needed any water to attach this. It was quite warm and the fondant was quite sticky. So if you don't have to use water, it's probably best that you don't. Um, it just stops it from moving. Uh, that's all. So trimming off the excess just at the eye level. And then with the Dresden tool, we're just going to blend this in. So again, I've just used a tiny little bit of water on the end of the Dresden tool. Um, and I'm just pulling up and away from the eye area. Um, and I'm going to do this on both sides. Again, you don't have to worry too much about getting rid of the line because we are going in with this tool just to texturize it. So just remember that the fur will come up and around the eye rather than just continuing to go up um, in the same direction. You kind of want to get it going in a direction that's um, naturally how the fur would, would flow. So just pulling some of the blue down into the nose. Now I've got a bit of color on there so I'm just wetting my brush and just taking that excess off. So for the nose, I've rolled um, a little bit of a sausage that's pointier at one side than the other. The pointier side is going to go into the hole that we created for the nose. And we're just going to push it up a little bit. And then we've got some black bits that are just going to go inside of the coloured area that we made earlier on. Now the black does cover quite a large proportion of the colour. And we do the same for the other side. So again, I'm using my Dresden tool just to push this into place. And then once we've done that, we're then going to go ahead and just colour the green. So I've got party green here from the Sugar Flare range. Um, and I'm just going around the edge and painting a dark line. And then with a very, very lightly wet brush i'm just going to bring that color into the center some whites for the eyes we want to be in the same place on both eyes 
like that. For the ears, again, some teardrops that are flattened using my Dresden tool to put the um, inside of the ear in. Same process with the uh, pinks in the ears. So just rolling some teardrops and flattening them and then putting them in the middle. We're going to trim off the bottom so it's flat. And this is what we're going to attach to the head. Now, if I was making this again, I would attach this after I've put the head on the body because it was quite fiddly to do. Um, but once you attach them on, you can see that I'm just pulling the blue down and blending that into the blue that's already on the face. Again, just using a little bit of water, making sure that the end stays quite pointy. And then I'm just going to go over them and texturize them the same way that I've done the rest of the head. So just pushing them into position. So now we've got a cocktail stick that's going through the body. Um, I've put the pointy end in first just to make sure it goes through that polystyrene ball. Um, and then I'm just going to attach the head on. So you can see I wanted to use the palm of my hand to press it down, but I couldn't because I'd already put the ears on at this point. And so I'm just having to press in between the ears with my finger. And then where I've pressed down, I've just re-gone over with the texturing tool. So the same thing for the legs we're going to do for the arms. And then I've got some white Saracena and I'm just rolling kind of like a teardrop shape that's quite fat at one side. Um, and we're just going to cut a little triangle out of that and that's going to create our thumb. We're going to soften around that. And then um, we're going to pinch the end of the rounded bit so that we can make the fingers. So just going in with your Dresden tool to get into places where you can't really put your fingers, to be fair. Um, and you can see I'm just trying to create the shape of um, the hand that's got the glove on. So a line across the palm, and this is going to be where the fingers start to bend. And this is where we're going to cut to with the, um, the knife, separating the fingers and just rounding off the tip really. They don't need much shape at this point because we are going to fold the hand um, in on itself. But it's just to kind of round where we've cut um, so it doesn't look as, as squared off. And once you've done this, we're going to go in and start to bend the hand. And so for us to be able to do that, we just need to make sure that we've marked in on our fingers where the uh, fingers need to bend. And this just helps us uh, bend in the fingers without distorting the shape too much. Um, and once you've bent the fingers in, we're going to do the same on the thumb, just to get that thumb bent in as well. And we're just going to attach this to Sonic's body with a little bit of water. Um, you can prop it up with, um, you know, I tend to use the pots of colour to prop stuff up if I need to. Um, but I haven't used anything in the middle of that to hold it on. So I've folded one of the arms um, and then I'm just going to trim some excess off because it was very long. So you can see that I'm just going in and just trimming it and then texturizing the arm. And we're just going to attach this with a little bit of water. Again, I've not used any kind of support or anything. It's just a little bit of water. If you use too much, it'll just drop off. Um, so you need a brush that's barely wet, really. And then we're just going to attach the arm on. And just pushing it into place and we kind of want the crease or the fold of the arm just to come back slightly like so like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in just like we did with the socks and we're just going to create um, the top of the gloves so the same method as before a line through the middle of some fondant and we're just going to wrap that around the arm, chopping off any excess and making sure that the, the join is on the inside of the arm. 
and that way it's not visible to you know like on the outside so I'm just using my dressing tool to push it in and then we're going to do this exact same for the other side so it'll look like this so now what we need to do is roll some kind of like um, cones and these are going to be used for the back of his hair um, so you're going to chop off at an angle and then texturize this once it's on the head so we're going to push it on and then we're going to go over with the dresden tool and we're just going to smooth out that whole area um, so just blend it in going upwards with a little bit of water um, and then texturize it and so once you've built up enough, you should have that. So I think there was three on the bottom, four on the top. And then one big one that goes through the middle of the, the forehead. So we're going to chop off at an angle again. And then we're going to attach this with a little bit of water. So just texturizing the top before it goes on the head. So we've got some uh, texture there. And we're just going to attach it with a little bit of water. Just pointing it in the middle. And then just pushing it down. So again with the Dresden tool, we're going to go in and smooth out that join with a little bit of water. And then once we've done that, we will texture that front bit where you can see there's no, uh, there's no texture on there at all. So just pulling it back. And so once you've finished, you should have something that looks like this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, here's the finished cake that I did. I do have a tutorial for tails coming as well. If you have liked today's tutorial, please don't forget to comment down below and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll get notified of my future tutorials. And if you want to see more of my videos, please click the links on the screen now. Thanks for watching.